So here we have the Nissan Qashqai 1.2 N connector on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And the boot space can be increased by lifting and if you wish to, removing these two tray sections just there. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and I'll do it right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle on the trip computer, you'll see the total miles for this car are 12,651. Uh, and then the trip computer above that, you can change the information that's displayed there. At the moment, it's reading a digital readout for the speedometer, which is a, a useful piece of information to have. Above that, we've got two different safety features there. So we've got a uh, lane departure warning system, on the right hand side. Uh, there's a video showing exactly how that works on our Facebook page and our website which is well worth checking out and then forward collision warning system is the symbol on the left hand side and again there's a video showing exactly how that works. Uh, well worth checking both of those out. Out on the steering wheel on the left hand side we have stereo controls and on the right hand side we have both cruise control and speed limiter. We've also got the ability to answer and end phone calls that is of course once the phone has been paired which is done on the central screen just here. Uh, before we come back to the pairing of the phone, uh, it's worth pointing out the fact this car's got DAB digital radio, uh, as well as FM and AM radio. On top of that, there are a few other ways to listen to your music. So there's a CD player, you can plug in a USB and auxiliary device, and once you've paired up the phone, not only can you make or receive phone calls, but you can also listen to your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Now this car also has satellite navigation, which will come up on that screen, and a 360 parking camera. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see we've got a reversing camera and bird's eye view image just there. And then on top of that, a front facing camera with that bird's eye view image, or a front facing camera and a camera pointing down at the front passenger side wheel. So with all those cameras, it makes it very, very easy to park. Beneath that, we've got dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. Hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or back off again. Fan speed is adjustable in the middle here, up or down. Uh, if you wish to, you can just hit auto and the car will maintain those temperatures by adjusting the fan speed itself, which you can see and hear it doing now. Simply readjust the fans to override that one. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, electronic handbrake, and a six speed manual gearbox. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is the panoramic glass roof. You can see that the sun visor or blind is shut at the moment. One push of that button and it will open all the way to the back of the car, uh, to the back of the rear seat. It gives you a huge amount of light, as you can see, really does look very, very good. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.